The year was 8000 BC, and after surviving the Ice Age, humanity was ready to take its existence to the next level. Until this point, humanity had survived by hunting and gathering, and despite how fun it was getting together with the boys every single day to find a wild animal to track and slaughter, it was about time for a paradigm shift. That shift came in the form of a world-changing scientific discovery made by a Middle Eastern woman. This, of course, was before the invention of Islam, so it was still legal for women in the Middle East to make scientific discoveries. Unfortunately, as with most of humanity's discoveries, it was one step forward, two steps back. And this woman's new invention would lead to the extermination of over 10% of human life. Maybe those guys who wrote the Quran knew what they were talking about after all. Welcome to The History of Humanity. So, what was this paradigm-shifting new invention that would doom hundreds of thousands of people? Well, one day after picking the seeds out of some grains and throwing them in the trash pile, a woman noticed that new plants were growing in the same place. Now you might be inclined to roll your eyes, since these days even a four-year-old knows that planting seeds can grow new plants, but you've got to put things into perspective. Think about how dumb the average person today is. These people were 10,000 years dumber than that! Once people realized they could grow their own food in mass, the majority of human life shifted from hunting and gathering to farming, with the most popular crop worldwide being wheat. So if your favorite food wasn't bread, you were shit out of luck. Now that farms were popping up all over the place, people decided it would make more sense to just live together and work the farmland as a cohesive unit. Villages of farmers began cultivating together, building homes side by side, and forming communities. But you can't just have groups of people working together all willy-nilly without proper management and planning. So the concept of a village leader was created. My fellow farmers, Thank you for electing me as the first ever president of the United Farm Village. Through my tremendous leadership, we'll grow the most beautiful wheat in the world. That I can tell you. Believe me, we're going to be putting bread on the table, bread under the table, bread behind the table, even tables made of bread. Basically, it's going to be a lot of bread, okay? But believe it or not, People soon became bored of eating nothing but bread. That's when they came up with a brilliant solution. What if they could grow and harvest animals the same way they did crops? Instead of hunting for animals every day, humanity could just farm them. These earliest farm animals consisted of pigs, sheep, goats, and cattle. And over the course of 1,000 years, these animals were completely domesticated and lived right alongside humans. But uh-oh, it turns out, living in close proximity to animals and their shit can have adverse effects on the human body. New diseases began to infect and kill people by the thousands, and since they had no idea where these plagues were coming from, they did nothing to fix the issue. This virus is a hoax, people. Believe me, there is absolutely nothing wrong with sleeping in pig shit. I do it all the time and I'm extremely healthy, let me tell you. A lot of people are saying the illness is coming from China. I know China doesn't exist yet and won't for thousands of years. But that's what I've been hearing, okay? Okay. But it wasn't just the pig shit plague that was killing people. Now that humanity had mastered nature by domesticating livestock and growing their own crops, mankind needed something new to hunt. Each other. Picture this. You live in a farming community, but oh no, your wheat crop has failed this year. There's no bread in sight. Your wife, your children, your entire community, they're all going to starve. 
Hunger and desperation have taken over your mind, body, and soul. And you just so happened to notice that the neighboring village had a bountiful wheat harvest this year. Do you see where this is going? We need to build a big, beautiful wall around our village to protect us from our crooked, disgusting neighboring village to the south. Those low-life losers fail tremendously at growing their own wheat. Total disaster. Things are out of control down there. Without a wall, they're going to invade our borders, and it'll be terror the likes of which we've never seen. Fuck you! Walls are racist! But without racist walls to protect them, the successful farm villages were easy prey for their starving neighbors. The wheat wars were no joke. During this time, 10% of all humans on Earth were killed in these farm village battles. Men, women, and children brutally slaughtered day in and day out, all because some farms were successful while others failed. For these early farmers, the average human lifespan has dropped by five years compared to their hunter-gatherer ancestors. Humanity defeated nature and harnessed its power, and now mankind's greatest enemy was itself. Through ignorance of basic hygiene and an insatiable thirst for violence in the face of adversity, the invention of farming led to the unnecessary deaths of millions of people. One step forward, two steps back. They should have believed me. We should have built that wall. This could have all been... <coughs> all been prevented. Why did that Middle Eastern woman have to invent farming? She doomed us to a terrible fate. We never should have left the caves. Yo fam, it's time for the Comment Corner! The segment where I respond to comments from the previous episode. But first, a word from our sponsor. This episode of the History of Humanity was brought to you by Grimchan.xyz the spookiest image board on the internet. Grimchan is an up-and-coming image board looking for new people to join the spooky fun. So if you want to check it out, click the link in the description or just go to grimchan.xyz. Okay, folks. Once again, I've been horribly disappointed by the low IQ and frankly offensive comments in the comment section of the previous episode. Let's dive right into the dumbest bullshit you're gonna see all day. Out of Africa theory has been disproved already. Hapalala groups. All jokes aside, the straight out of Africa theory has been debunked when we blah 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 blah. Humans aren't just from Africa. It's kind of a misconception. Okay, I get it. Some of you in the audience are so incredibly racist that the thought of having black ancestors compels you to believe in whimsical pseudoscience. I'm sorry, Tristan George, but I am never wrong. Your ancestors were black. You have the N-word pass. I'm sorry that this is so hard for you to accept, but it's the truth. That's the whole point of this show, people! I am Simeon Jimmy! I am the next step in human evolution! It doesn't matter what human scientists or historians have to say. I am literally more intelligent than all of them put together. Do you think I like doing this show? It's charity! I'm using my intellect to enlighten the human race to the truths of their own history. And you two-fist-brained morons in the comment section dare question my teachings? Stop being racist and stop questioning me, or else I'm gonna get very upset and I'll probably cry. Got it? Hey, 
everybody! Thanks for tuning in to episode 3 of The History of Humanity. I would like to give a special thank you to my patrons whose names you see on screen here. Without their support, I'd be nothing more than a pathetic nobody like all of you. If you would like to sponsor a future video, feel free to email me at monkeymir at gmail.com or just shoot me a DM on Twitter at SimeonJimmy. That's all for now. I'll see you next time, folks.